welcome to the Nando's Creative Exchange 2021 opening at the GFI Gallery in Kobeja. We have decided to extend this opportunity to the four artists that participated in the 2021 um, Artist Development Programme that is sponsored by Nando's, administered by Spy Arts Trust. Because we believe that it is an essential requirement for artists to um, have access to a means to sell their work. I'm going to ask Tamlin to talk a little bit about the reality for artists in terms of finding avenues and channels to enable them to have their work available for sale and also manage relationships with some of the agents that are in the ecosystem that is available to artists. Thanks. Um, I think the reality of becoming an artist as a professional is that once you've done your studies or your self-trained to get into the market at the end of the day is really tricky. Uh, I think for bitterly few uh, you're sort of found and made and you know sort of go into the big galleries right from the beginning but for most artists it's about developing your practice, developing relationships and slowly slowly sort of learning the ropes and learning how to manage putting proposals together for shows, how to talk to people in the different sort of areas in the industry um, and then at the end of the day how to actually pull off a, a, a full-blown exhibition and I think through the Nando's Creative Exchange we were able to give a group of artists that guided, almost protected but a little bit of a helping hand in learning some of those ropes uh, to get to that end point. Hi VA, it's lovely to see you. I think about 12 months ago um, we asked you to be the mentor for the Nando's Creative Exchange 2021 and here we are a year later and you've curated the show at AVA as well as the show now at GFI. Tell us a little bit about your experience in having to deal with artists in a pandemic where you actually couldn't communicate face to face. It all had to be done. How did you do it? The four artists that were chosen by, um, by the, for the Creative Exchange were coming from a very diverse environment and hence during the pandemic it was like super difficult to kind of get that communication yeah. going. But thank goodness for social media and mostly for WhatsApp, <laughs> that was our modus operandi of communicating and it was an open-ended, long conversation that occurred over months and months and months, seeing their individual works, their processes, the progresses that they made to lead up eventually to the delivery of the work at the AVA for the first leg of the, of the show. That's amazing how the pandemic has taught us new things eh? and new ways of doing things. Were there any surprises? Absolutely. The, the realisation of the depth of the work of Margezi's intricacy of mark making, the um, sort of intensity of colour that Eric was achieving, the uh, gentleness of the charcoal in Adrian's intimate drawings, as well as the sort of aerial, uh, almost uh, surrealistic images of Lisa, really came to life when we were all together at the AVA and interestingly enough it was the first time they had ever met each other in person. So the personalities were a dynamic in themselves for me as a mentor via WhatsApp but actual curating and getting them involved in the mm. curating and understanding more about each other as artists was a really remarkable experience. And they did definitely do a good gelling with each other, oh, yeah, which was great. Often when we start the, the whole process choosing the artist, there's objectives um, and we don't zone in on the objectives or the opportunities or what is set out for the mentor. What was your take? You know, how do you, what, what have you gained from this experience, if any? I definitely gained a hell of a lot in understanding how to mediate between artists. The other component was a skill share, as a mentor you want to not give them the answers necessarily but dangle the bait so that they would you know, get, get the idea. 
the aspect of visual artists always working in isolation in their studios and the fact that they would have to come together for this, this creative exchanges for artists really made them have to communicate with each other and me particularly with the four of them as well. And I think it's really necessary for visual artists to be doing more of that kind of thing in South Africa. And I'm really grateful that the Creative Exchange creates that type of environment because the way that they get to narrate about their own work and how the relationship develops around their own work in conjunction with other people, it makes them grow. And for me as, as the curator, it was definitely an experience of understanding how stories can be told in a beautiful type of way just by the arrangement of the work. So the mentorship is, is really over a 12 month period or a little bit shorter and it gives the artist opportunity to work on an extensive body of work. Um, but one of the most important aspects and objectives of the Learners Creative Exchange is having all the works in a gallery and a sort of a professional gallery and a commercial gallery and giving artists the opportunity to have their work for sale to collectors that they would have not necessarily had. Do you think that is a very pivotal period in the artist's life and very important? Absolutely. It's a, an imperative part of the process and I'm really, really glad that the Creative Exchange does have that as a culminating point for these artists because it's, a, it's an industry that most artists working in their studio don't really understand. Um, they don't understand the need to develop relationships with galleries and associations and individuals that take an interest in their work. Um, the other aspect of it is really based on the presentable nature of their work as well as like how a gallery would value their work in terms of how they put it up and how they expose it to the public through marketing or advertising. The inner workings of a gallery and the expenses that a gallery goes through to put an artist's work up is not always uh, exposed to an artist necessarily until they have that experience. So in this instance, the Creative Exchange artists got an understanding of what the commission meant, what that value system actually meant. The relationship that the gallery was creating with those artists was the beginning of something into the future. It also developed confidence amongst those artists to be able to manage other relationships with other galleries. And I think that's really important because artists aren't necessarily taught how to present themselves to galleries or really even present themselves professionally. So um, I think for the Creative Exchange artist it was a really good culminating point. And Bia, we want to thank you, Spio Trust, for being our 2021 mentor. Um, and the artists have definitely, they have given us feedback and have definitely learned so much and many of the objectives have been met. Thank you, it's been an absolute pleasure and now I'm really thirsty to carry on curating because the bag is bitten. <laughs> <Lovely>. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.